Hey guys, uh, welcome to another vlog. It is, oh it's Wednesday, I've been a bit uh, late starting this week's vlog. I had a pretty stressful start of the week. I cut my thumb pretty badly and then I fainted and hit my head. So it's been a pretty slow start to the week. Um, I'm now on my way to a showing and I will bring you guys along. And I'm bloody starving. Hi, how are you? Wonderful to meet you. I can't drink coffee on an empty stomach, otherwise it'll blow my brains off, yeah. I love that they've gone sustainable. Yes. 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 Content queen with the legs. I've just left the event. Tried a few things on. Now I just have to get a bit of work done quickly in my car. And then some editing this afternoon. And I want to clean my entire apartment and I'm very excited for that. Such a good day. Wowzers. I did a thing, guys. So I thought I would quickly show you guys what I got because I know you'll probably ask. I got these little... Chanel, what are they like espadrille, slide, sandals, really, really like them. And I think they'll go with a lot of things. I just think they're very classic and beautiful. And then from YSL, I got this little bag, very beautiful. And I love it because this comes out and then it's like a little purse in itself and then this kind of gives it a whole new look without that so very happy with these purchases and these are both my first YSL and Chanel purchases I am in Maroubra getting my nails and I'm about to go see Laura and I'm so excited my nails are freaking tragic but I just thought I would quickly touch on last week you guys really enjoyed me opening up I guess about life in general and I don't want to say like adult things because it's actually quite weird to have friendships fall through in adult life actually no I feel like it's you people assume that you're not gonna lose friends and you're not gonna go through these transition periods when you become an adult like once you once you start adulting things sort of just settle into place and that's definitely not the case and I think this year as well is all about um, especially right now in the last few months it's all about freeing yourself from toxic and negative energies um, and you may feel like you're culling in every aspect of your life like oh dear god this man's shirtless he's just gotten out of a truck and he's very very dirty i kind of feel like i'm i am detoxing and culling in every aspect of my life and i've also just realized i don't have time for bad friendships and i'm not gonna lie like this <sighs> killed me I lost two best friends and one of them I never ever ever thought that I would ever lose her um, but honestly sometimes I'm all about forgiveness and second chances and third chances but sometimes you have to really think about 
actions and decisions people make. So people make mistakes and, and people deserve forgiveness, but sometimes there are certain things that if you know in yourself you would never ever ever do that to the other person, it's unforgivable. And the way people make you feel sometimes, you just have to ask yourself, would you ever make anyone feel like that? And it's just not okay and you need to put yourself first and you need to protect your heart and your head and I just these past couple of months I've obviously gone through a breakup and these girls had been incredible through that but then they've just caused me so much heartache and pain and I've realized that I just don't have it in me to do this anymore I can't I I can't I've already gone through one heartbreak and now I feel like I'm I'm doing it again and I'm losing best friends but honestly I would rather be so independent and strong in myself than have these half half assed toxic un, unloyal unstable friendships I would rather know that I can take care of myself and I'm strong and able in myself than have that so remember it's quality over quantity you don't need lots of friends you just need a couple of incredible friends and you will get through life but at the end of the day you just need to know that you have yourself and that's what I say about knowing your self-worth don't settle for anything less in all aspects in all relationships it's not just your boyfriend or your girlfriend it's your friendships and it's your family like hold your friends and your family and your boyfriend or your girlfriend to a high standard it is not hard to be a good person and remember repeated mistakes are decisions so don't think that people just keep making these silly mistakes because once they keep repeating them they're choices they make they're choosing to do that they're choosing to make you feel that way so that's my little pep talk i'm gonna go get my nails done don't know what the fuck we're gonna do with these little fingers but we'll um We'll see what we decide. I, it's funny how my heart is wired. It doesn't make any sense to me. But who am I to question my feelings? I, I'm leaving you for someone else. But it's not who. I do apologize I haven't even started editing this vlog but I know that I didn't vlog for a few days there um, I just I kind of completely forgot about it this week and I just uh, just a few shit days where I really don't feel like picking up my camera um, obviously I touched on it earlier this week about or like I touched on it last week and then I spoke about it this week just knowing your worth when it comes to all relationships um obviously you guys know i went through a breakup a few months ago and um over the last probably month i've lost two best friends so uh, i feel like i'm transitioning a lot i feel like i'm losing a lot but i trust the universe and i have faith that everything's happening for a reason i'm i'm on the path that i need to be on and I'm realizing a lot about myself as well. Um, something that you guys wouldn't know, I was actually planning on launching a business. I was going to do jewelry. So a lot of the jewelry I have been seen wearing over the last, I've been working on it for over 12 months, but over the last like six to eight months, all the jewelry I've been wearing has been my own. Um, I've invested quite a lot of money into it, but I just had a realization that I don't want to do that and I it was like this weird pressure from social media and I guess taking the next steps as an influencer you're meant to launch your own business and I realized that that's not actually what I want to do and I was just doing it because I felt like I had to because that's what everyone else is doing and I it made me really sad to realize that I'd sort of conformed to that 
and that I wasn't following my heart and my heart still lies with acting and instead of creating jewelry I want to create art and I want to perform because it's just what makes me happy so next year 2021 I'm going to dive headfirst into acting I'm gonna do a lot of school I'm actually thinking of doing dance lessons because I'm an awful dancer um, but I would love to do some dance lessons I also want to do some singing lessons just to get my skills resume up and just work on myself and challenge myself and just I don't know do some do some fun stuff unfortunately I'm not launching a business anymore so I can talk about it it was gonna be called honey amore um, obviously named after my littlest love honey but I just decided I don't want to do that so maybe I might collab with the jewelry brand that could definitely be something in the works that I might work towards but I don't want to run my own business I want to create art and and do what I love which is acting and I realized that launching my own business I just wouldn't have any time for that that's my story with that it's been a weird year and it's been a very trying year and especially the last few months have been pretty awful but today's Monday it's a good day to have a good day you guys know I love my Monday and some days are better than others but you have the potential to make it a great day you have the same amount of hours in it as every other person in this world you have so much time in your day to do something good with it and to do something for you and to better yourself and to better your environment and the people around you and and that's why it's so important to be so selective with who you put your time and energy into because you will become the people you surround yourself with so if you surround yourself with bad people negative people toxic people liars uh, unmotivated unhealthy whatever it may be you will become that you, you you absorb so much of people's energy that it's so dangerous to forget that so don't forget your time and energy is important choose wisely why do you always look so worried is it because you wait on the carpet yes because you're a naughty prophet that is the face of a naughty cat Honey. Oh, smudge. Why are you so cute for? Um, I have a big day today. I have someone coming to steam the rug at 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock because honey weed on it. Gremlin. But it was due to get a good steam clean, clean anyway. And then I have someone coming to mount my TV at some time today. And then I also have pest control coming because I've seen a couple of cockroaches and I will not have that. So I'm getting the entire apartment pest control sprayed because, eek, gross. Um, so yeah, big home day. I also need to edit last week's vlog, um, which will be easy enough because I can't really do much while there's people around anyway besides the edit. And what else do I need to do? And then try and organize my office a little bit more. Also, I'm so excited. I don't know whether you guys saw this, but my bathroom, the this big shelf used to be too big that I couldn't open my bathroom door the whole way. And so I did a smaller one, got this from Ikea, and it fits perfectly. Very, very happy. Yes, I need to organize my office. I'm just running out of space and I need to like better design it, I think. I need to figure out how I wanna plan this space. I think I wanna get a big shoe rack as well. Not sure, but it's a very gloomy day here in Sydney. Weather's not very nice. Good day for a home improvement day though, that's for sure. This for a long time now and I finally know where my heart is This is our last kiss and I hope you know that I thank you for making me see it I, 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 no, I never meant to hurt you I, 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 no, I never meant to hurt you
day yesterday. I had my TV mounted. So this isn't going to stay there, but I do want to keep that there. I just want to get something proper for it to sit on, not a stool. And then I definitely want to change up the coffee table, I think. I mean, the TV unit. And then I also got the rug steam cleaned. Looks really good. So this is how the living room looks now. I'm very happy with it. Back, Dog for hot dog. <laughs> and can I please just get a hot dog with ketchup? And do you do coffee? Yeah. This is like a little field trip for us. <laughs> you just I'm tempted to, but I won't. I won't be a child. I kind of want to get full. Oh, <laughs> what did you look at? Two? Was that that bigger one? Was that was? No, two. Three. Three. Yeah. I went nuts to get another hot dog. I'm so excited. I'm getting, I can't really tell you guys because in case the person I'm getting this for watches it, but I'll be able to tell you soon. Um... But I just got really, really, really good news. So I'm gonna go pick something up and then I might do a little Ikea haul for you guys. Cause I got some really good stuff this trip. I'm actually very excited. So yeah, good day, good day. Uh, this is just one of those days that I wanna normalize this. Nothing's happened. Actually, I'm with, like, I've just booked a girl's trip. Um, so I fly to Townsville on the 18th of December to see my family. They've just announced that the borders will be open. And so I had my flights booked for months because I was like, I'll find a fucking way to get up there. Because by the time I get up there now, I'll it'll have been a year. And I've never gone that long without seeing my brother or his wife or their kids. So anyway, um, Nina, Trish and Joelle, a few of my girlfriends, have decided to fly up beforehand on the 14th to do like a girls trip stay at the Ville. So I've moved my flight forward and I'm excited but I'm just, I don't know, I, like I just feel, I had such a nice morning with Noni and now I've, I've sort of like hit a wall and I just feel like crying and I don't know why, like I'm just, ugh, I don't know, I just feel shit. Um, so to make myself feel better, my Christmas tree has just arrived. So I'm going to fucking put my Christmas tree up and I'm going to, I'm going to get in the festive spirit and I'm very excited because I just don't know, I feel like crying and I don't know why. So maybe I might cry it out, release all that weight and then put my Christmas tree up and I'm very excited get in the festive spirit some days you just have poo days and it's fine not every day is going to be great but it's what you make of it and then i've got touch tonight or oz tag <sighs> okay i'll be able to run off my bad mood tonight at touch hi guys um i'm gonna do a haul of the stuff I got from Kmart at Ikea and then I also went to Bondi Junction I had to pick up a gift 
and then I went into Zara. So first up, I got three more of the 50 by 70 frames because I'm collabing with Desenio soon and they're gonna go up on that wall there. I'm very excited, so I had to get three of those. Then I got two cushions because I got two cushion, these they're flat. Because I got two cushion covers, which I shall show you when I get to them. I got um, a Christmas tree to go on my kitchen table and baubles to go on it so that I've got decorations for my table. I got a couple of like fancy champagne glasses. Um, I got candle holders, black ones. Cute. I got this cute bed uh, sheet set. It's white and green. I really like that. There's the other glass. I got a couple of big candles. They're just unscented. Another candle holder. I already have a couple of those. I really like it, so I wanted to get some more. These are the pillowcases that I got. So it's just a very neutral color. Oh, this is cute. I like this. I got this for the couch. Lovely. Oh yeah, the pillows are fluffed up a bit, fluffed up a bit now. And then I'm very excited for these. I got these for kombucha. How pretty are they? Love those. I've wanted glasses like that for ages. And then I got a vanilla scented candle, which I think I might put this in the bathroom. Oh yeah. I don't know how you meant to place cushions, but there's lots of cushions now, lots to choose from. Oh, oh and then I got a little baby basket because I thought I had a fake plant that needed a basket, but it doesn't. So I've got another little basket in case I need it. And then from Zara, I got this cute little tracksuit set, white shorts and a cropped top and it's got this little drawstring there which is cool like that then i got this beautiful little blue skirt it's like a satin silk mini skirt i really like that then i got this little crop top that i could probably wear with the blue skirt now that i'm looking at it but i pictured this with like oh big stretch baba then i got this I pictured it with like blue denim or even like white denim would look really pretty. Then I got this little silk dress for Noni's birthday this weekend. It's got like the ruching on the side. I hope that fits. I have a feeling. Oh, it should fit actually. And then I got this little cute pink crop. It's very cute stuff from Zara. I haven't tried any of it on. Very irresponsible of me, but... I'll get round to that. Okay, I want to get in the Christmas spirit. I want to play some Christmas carols and Christmas the shit out of my house. Although there's only so much I can do because my Christmas decorations haven't come yet. I've literally just got my tree. But that's fine. We'll make do. I forgot to film, I forgot to turn my camera on when I was putting out my Christmas tree. But I put it up, it wasn't that exciting anyway, I literally fucking just pulled the whole thing apart. You know how you have to separate all the prongs? Well, that's all I did because none of my other decorations have arrived. I've literally just got my tree and the star on top. So, waiting for the rest of my decorations to come and then it'll be fun and exciting, but 
yeah, I needed a little bit of Christmas spirit and I did the Christmas tray on the kitchen table. Yeah, I'm on my way to footy now. So that'll be fun just to run this shitty mood off. I just feel a bit flat and sad, but it's okay. I'm gonna listen to Christmas carols on my drive there and just bop away. Tortellini with spinach and like red sauce. Make Christmas trees up. That's not all the decorations. I'm waiting for the rest to come. And I'm watching Friends. Oh my gosh, I'm knackered. I think I got a bit too much sun today, which is a bit naughty. But I was wearing SPF the whole time. Obviously, I've just gotten into bed. I'm gonna read for a little bit. And then pass out. I have a big day tomorrow. Not really a big day. I'm just at the hairdressers pretty much all day. If you're a blonde, you know getting blonde foils takes forever. And because I have so much hair, not necessarily like length, I have a lot of hair and thick hair. So putting in my foils alone takes like two and a half hours. And then it's got a process. And then we tone it, so it's generally like a six hour job. So, wake up in the morning, train, have to shoot two lots of content, and then my hair appointment's at 10, so busy morning. And then I'll do lots of editing while I'm at the hairdressers. And then I have a Movember event tomorrow night with F45, just like a little, um, like sit down talk thing at the club and then some drinks and dinner afterwards with the club so that'll be nice and then it's Noni's 30th on Saturday I'm very excited I've been snuggling bear lately this is my teddy that my brother got me years ago when he was in the army and he's my favourite thing in the entire world <laughs> 